guys, so I've been kind of adjusting and redoing some of the stuff in my dorm, and um, I've been working on the bathroom a little, and I wanted to show you, I have changed my bathtub into a shower bath combo. Um, this was inspired by my friend Janice, Janice Mannequin, and um, <clears throat> basically, uh, yeah, I had just a bathtub before with like some shelves above it, and that was great, but I wanted to show you guys how I put this together. So, um, the base of it is the same as my old bathtub. I just left that alone. It's two pencil cases stacked. They are in Hoggle 7, I believe. No, 6. Oh my goodness. Um, <clears throat> and you open them up, and then you put in a hotel hem bed blanket in Toggle 6, and you, like, adjust it. You're going to want to build this against a wall. Um, so that the the pencil case lids are going through the wall and the bed blanket isn't taking up that much space but anyway um, on the bed blanket I put let me see here I put this pattern here uh, somewhere in the blue section I I mean there are a lot of patterns you can use for like a watery effect this one would be kind of cool kind of give like a bubbles effect um, but, um, actually I might change it to that. <laughs> it's like a sky, but <laughs> it looks kind of neat. Um, okay. So, um, the next thing is the, uh, I'm trying not to go through this too fast. Sorry. You also, you need the resizing tool. And, um, so these pencil cases are obviously sized up quite a bit. Um, there's also, let me go into the yeah okay now down in here there is a stool I don't know if you'll be able to see it oh my goodness back up a little um where'd it go <laughs> you can't even see it oh yeah okay there's a stool in here um this is unnecessary but it's just like shoved down in the floor so you can sit in the bath um just kind of a cute little detail oh I gotta fix my Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know why it keeps lagging, but I had to fix the toilet seat here because this, oops, nope, that's the lid. This ugh, chair always glitches. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, I put a stool in there. Not really necessary, but something you can do. And then the next thing I added was the, um, this is a bar handle that I sized up. It's in toggle three. And then for the shower head, I used a candle and cupcake pedestal in toggle four and just angled it and kind of shoved it into there. I wish I had recorded myself building this. I really do. <laughs> because explaining this is a bit hard, but hopefully you guys can look at this and sort of see what I did. Um, and then this is the crystal diamond handle, toggle one, just kind of sized it up and shoved it into there. Uh, there's another crystal diamond, hand diamond handle here against the wall for the like faucet if you wanted to fill the bath. And this is a elegant swan handle. Um, now, obviously these are the Louis curtains and I just sized these so they kind of fit the front of the bath and I moved them so that they would be placed in front of the bath. Um, and then I added these bar handles here to connect it. And then finally, um, these are pieces of tape on the side that I sized up in toggle three. Um, and uh, I just picked a similar like pattern that I thought would give kind of a glassy feel. Um, and then this is just a piece of poster paper back here with kind of a tile pattern. So I think that pretty much covers everything I used to build this bathtub. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but like I said, hopefully you guys can kind of see what I did by looking at it and understanding the items involved. I'm sorry this isn't like a full tutorial, um, but hopefully this covers it. So anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!